outside. Say, say we outside. Let's go. Jump. Feel like pop. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. Oh, yeah, man. She's been over here. Wrapped up. Man, hey, really? Let me just take this off. Uh, we just need this part right here. We really gotta take the whole thing out. I just need this middle right here to get to the starter. We're gonna get right to it, man. Give me a second. Let me get out of my stuff. We're gonna get right on to it. Got my little helper with me. <laughs> give me a little jack stand. Need a little jack stand. She gonna know what's going on. I do. You do, don't you, baby? Mm -hmm. so you told me you said you want to put some work on your blue car. Yep. Yep, yeah. you know it. Because I did something. See, she know. But yeah, man, we getting this stuff together, man. Give me one second, man. All right, I got the battery hooked up. Got to crank it up, man, and show y'all what she doing when she starts. I like the better look dead. See y'all can hear it. So, y'all heard the first two times how it stalled. I got my mask on so I can cover up my hair. So I don't want to get it dirty when I'm dying or get shit in my face. So I put the little mask on, that's why it's on. But y'all can hear it stall out a little bit before it crumps. So that's what I'm talking about, man. I believe it's starter trying to tell me it's going out. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I'm gonna try it one more time just to see if it do it again. Cause I haven't crunked the car since it did that. And I parked it right here. So let me let me try it again and see if it do the same thing. So it actually got what I want y'all to hear uh, when I did the first time. So it ain't doing it now, but it did that and then crank for me. So before I go anywhere or drive anywhere, I'm gonna go on here and address this issue now because I don't want to get stuck and have to pay no money to do no tow or nothing like that. Um, so we're gonna go on here and knock this out, man. So. Gonna kill all the noise, man, and get right on to it before it get too hot on me. All right, I hope y'all can hear me. I got the AC on. I'm trying to talk loud as possible. So this is the oil. Y'all can see. I think because of the oil build up, it's causing it to do that. So I really gotta fix that oil. In. Alright guys, I'm done. Hopefully uh I fixed that hard start too I had too. Y'all remember when I cranked my car, it had a little hard start. So everything all intact. I hooked the battery up. 
and hopefully uh, everything is good. Uh, give me one second, let me do this, man. I'm gonna crank, turn y'all on when I'm about to crank it up. Now I gotta crunk up again. We're gonna try this again. All right. Let it warm up a little bit, so we shouldn't have that issue now. Ah, boom. Try one more time. Yes, sir. One more drag. Yes, sir. Yep, no more hard start. So we all good, man. Y'all good. So now I don't feel so bad cranking up. <laughs> when I go to the store or anywhere now, I don't feel so bad cranking up because, man, that hard start was terrible, man. You can't be in something nice like that and, and it sound the way it sounded. So I had to fix that, man. So we got that knocked down. I might make this a two-part video because I got done a little fast. All right, well, today um, I, also to I gotta see if my automatic start work as should as well. Let's get it one time. This the switch I gotta replace. It's a bad switch, you know what I'm saying? So, you replace this, everything else should be good. Man, you the wire right here, man. Big three upgrade kit. Yeah. I got this from Amazon. So, I pull up Amazon, big three upgrade kit. This, you know, that's the one you get. You know what I'm saying? The black and the red. One to zero gauge. And I can see right there. Get them out of there. That's new joints already. Got the new joints. We all good, right? Two piece. I'm gonna try the two piece out, man. Since I already did the one piece, we're gonna try the two piece out. Hope it don't get no water, nothing. And uh um, yeah, we're just gonna rock the two piece. I think I'm gonna like these better. I like the one piece too, I'm giving wrong because it got the little extra little three lights on the corner. But I tell you, it got water on the inside, it's old, and it's plastic. Well, it's plastic too, so. Yeah, man. I'm getting the end right, man. Side pieces on. The cuts don't look too bad. I'm gonna have to trim this part, but they on there, steady, ride it like that. Got the tail lights coming. 
straighten them out. See this side. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna put them on the front, don't need them on the front. I mean, I got them, but I'm gonna have to trim them too, so. I ain't gonna put them on the front, but definitely gonna leave them on the back. Yeah. Not gonna put these on tonight, man, because it's getting a little dark. I was doing some stuff. One thing, the peach did come in. Did put that on for everything for the AC is on now. Yes, sir. What up with the game? Back, back, back with another one. I know it's been a minute, but we're here now, baby. We're here now. We got a lot to unpack today. So this might be a link, uh, a long video. So, you know, just enjoy the show, man. A lot not chain. Y'all see my hair not chain, hair color not chain. Yeah, and I did a lot to the Impala. A few things to the Impala, man. We're gonna get right into it. So when I changed out the back lights, yeah, had to upgrade on that. Front in the back. Front end back, new light. I ain't crunk up. You try a little uh, cold stuff, I guess. Show you how it's going on. So basically just an update on Impala, man. Show you how far I got. So, uh, the big three. I did do the big three. How I ran mines. I can see I got my other ground wire coming off. And I got it hooked up to the frame right here. Y'all can see both of them hooked up to the frame. But they drilled me a hole right here. No, right here. I drilled my hole right there. This one's already there. I put the another one right here. So I got two ground right there. And of course, the power wire. The power is running back up under there. And the other ground over here. So I'm gonna have to cut this ground. It's a little too long. And that's it on it. And it'll be good to go. AC. I did replace this piece. So everything is replaced on the AC unit. I'm going to take it to GM, the, uh, to the car dealership, and let them do it. So that's where I'm at with that. So once I take it to them, I know it's going to be right to come back out. So that's the update on that. Um, with the engine and all that, I'm going to just, I'm either going to bust it down. Oh, I'm going to take it to the shop and let them bust it down so they can fix their leak. Because I'm really tired of that leak. Because that's where everything gets all that dust that's coming from. It's all everywhere, man. It's from that one leak down there. We're going to get that fixed. Had the engine all cleaned up. 
Uh, I'm gonna do that before I take it to the GM place and get that, or I vice versa, because they ain't gotta remove that if they do do that. So, but I already got all the seals and all the stuff that I need for that leak. I just need to put on. Uh, let's see what that. I can tell by the light, the light look real good, man. Make it look a whole lot better. Stuff ain't broke on this side no more. So we Gucci on this side. So we got a little scar. Till we get that situated. Also, got my trimming on. Just gotta get it trimmed. I gotta get it trimmed right here. So I can, you know what I'm saying? So it can be trimmed out right. I don't need this much on there. All the way to the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about that. Just need to cover up the I need to cover up the body. And just and cut it. But everything else feels good. We're gonna get this situated too. It just need to be bent back out. So for people that are just tuning in, uh I just did a minor adjustments, um, but it was already cut like this. Majority of the cutting on this car was already done before I bought this car. Y'all don't know. Yeah. Getting on this side, trimming on. Same side, I need to be bent. Bent back out on this side. But everything comes this one. Fit pretty snug all the way through. Yeah, that's good. But everything gone. Oh yeah, I got my uh turn signals. So they should be here Monday. So I am getting the turn signal right here. It will be a turn signal right there. I'll show y'all when they come in. I tried to show y'all on this video, but uh, fortunately they ain't come in today. We also got our carpet. It's already in. It's the black carpet, brand new. You know what I'm saying? So we're ready for that. Y'all want? Uh, y'all already know we're getting the carpet from right here. Auto customs. Uh tail lights and headlights. Both of these came from eBay. eBay got these. Uh what else I got? Uh, uh I think that's it. It's the most I can't think right now, man. But uh that's my new AC, AC compressor and alternator i do got a 300 i do got a brand new alternator i ain't put on yet most of y'all know i got this already some of y'all don't i already got the alternator just in case but my alternator good already see this is brand new brand new junk right here brand new I ain't put on it yet, cause. <clears throat> so I haven't put that alternator on there yet. Cause really I don't need to, man. So uh, if you haven't did a big three on your vehicle, I advise you to do that. Uh, I can tell you the difference. It's really different. Spot on the car, not draining power. So I can turn my car up to like, I can turn the radio up to 22 and the speakers still be like they be they still be you hear it ain't losing no no power and i got a 1200 ym um i can tell the improvement because at first before i did the big three when i turned it up to 22 when i go up to 22 the bass start fading out you still hear the music Base not as hard. Big three, I have no problem with that. So if you haven't did a big three, man, I advise you to do a big three. Actually, yeah, it's the first time 
it's the first time for me doing a big three. I mean, it actually works. Um, my light's still dimming in the back. The front good. The back light's still dimming, like I said, but you're going to get all your power. Uh, and, and it pressed me. Like, it really hit hard. Like, it really impressed me. It really bring out the power. I thought I would have to get it like another amp to push those in. But that 1200 watt, it really. It's, it's making some noise now. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, man, just do the big three. I gotta, like I said, I gotta shorten this wire. And if I'm gonna give y'all one more look at, I'm gonna give y'all one more look uh, how I did it. So, you know, y'all already got your power. I still got the top post. I still use the top post. This is how I got mine done. Okay. Ground right here for the battery. Another ground. Jeans on the side. Ain't nothing stressing, bent it. Ain't nothing stressed or bent. Nothing. Everything got enough. So, I just ran my two wires right here. The three wires here. Ran up under there with AC lines. It man. I got a little thing I put right there to hold these wires. And that's it. You gotta drill you one hole. You drill you one hole right there, and you can put a ground here. And it's already an existing hole right here for a ground, and I use that one. You know what I'm saying? Nothing extra. That's it. That's all you gotta do. You just run your wires, man. And I see the only thing you run into this one and this one. It's too easy. And then you're gonna want a ground from your battery, which is this one. Frame. That's where the other hole come from. So that's how I did mine. Other people do it different. Uh, you no longer got to use this no more. I use the body. I mean the frame. So that's how I did mine. And still look good. And I ain't just crazy up under here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just attack this little short wire. Make sure everything look good and I'll be done with that. That's the only little task I really had today. And then show y'all the improvement that I'm not done on the car. So we're trying to get ready for paint. Mm. Yeah, ready for paint. Uh, I already shot the tents to uh, spray away. What we're going to do. Going back in the blue. Uh, this is you know, how it's going to be. I would show y'all my sister. I would let y'all hear it, man. Still kind of early. I don't want to wake the neighbor. They up and gone already. I probably could. Uh, she probably been asleep too. But like I, like I say, man, yeah. You want to do the big three, man. You can tell, them, you can tell that proof. Um, so y'all the carpet. Uh, insides. The pin down. Uh, I got some else in the works so um inside i'm put on pause right now because i can do it right now but i'm put on pause uh until i get another phone call i'm looking for which is something bigger uh than what i'm doing right now and once they go through then you know what i'm saying i can let loose i can back you know so i can go ahead and let loose um where i was it but right now i gotta you know what i'm saying I'm at one minute right now. Uh, and I got all the parts that I need for the car besides the front bumper and the back bumper. Um, everything else that I needed to get before paint, I already paid for, or it's already on the way. Uh, like I said, I got my turn. Uh, my side mirrors coming, custom side mirrors coming. Uh, and I'm gonna order my uh, front bumper and back bumper. I'll show y'all that when they, when they get here. I'm trying to see this out, man. Yeah, hey, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did uh change my back. I, ch I changed my back speakers too. So I had some Pioneer in the back. Now I got some, uh, I got some ES18s. Which I'm gonna show y'all in the video. I got some DS 18s back speakers, six by nines. Oh man, that's 
they they worth every dollar. They sound real good. Um, initially, well, I still got four tweeters. I still got to put in the car. Two in the two in the front, two in the back. Uh, I'm gonna do that when I get my doors, uh, my door panels, and all that situated on the in the interior. But when I put them six by nine, then I already got DS18s, uh, six and a half in the front. And that was enough for me. Like the words is crisp, it's loud, uh, and it's beating. So I kind of like it like that. I ain't got to add no more speakers to it. Tell you the truth, I like it the way it sounds because it's real loud, man. I got to show y'all on film. How good it sounds just with the just with the factory speakers, not the factory speakers, but just the setup it is right now, just with the six by nines in the back and the six and a halves in the front. It sounds good. It sounds good. Them DS 18s are really uh, them DS 18 speakers are worth the book. Uh, these the tweeters I got right here. These the tweeters I got. I went with these. I like these speakers, guys. I like these uh, tweeters because they come with this. It's like a little. I forgot what they call it. But it keeps the. Uh, I don't want it noise, tweeters and stuff. Keep I mean, see, keep these. Playing crisp, you know what I'm saying? Keep the static and the unwanted, wanted tweaks and stuff like that. But I got it because of this. You know what I'm saying? It come with two of them. But these don't go in the front like I want to. They're kind of too big. I'm going to show you how I want it. I want it. I wanted my tweeter to go right here. Okay. But I think these are a little too big. I guess I'm a little smaller. I'm gonna put my tweeters right here, man. And if you close it, I'm gonna show you the close the door. You can still see it. It ain't covered up. It's just right there. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think I gotta get some smaller ones. And I'm gonna put them right there. If possible. Uh, if I can't get nobody to do it right here, I'll go ahead and put it right here where it needs to be. I'll put it right there. Yeah. But I'm trying to get it right here, though. I think this is a good, perfect spot for a tweeter. Without cutting, on, cutting in your dough if you don't want to cut on your, on your pounds and stuff right here. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of glass, I'm taking all the glass out of this lane if y'all so I already got the back glass already. Y'all can see I got scratches. And where they did my roof, this don't come out man. This is where those sparks hit when they were doing my roof. When the welder was welding. And it scratches at the bottom. Uh, scratches, scratches, scratches. There's some more spots on the back to tell, man. So I'm gonna replace this back. I'm gonna replace all of them. So uh, I had to go to Mississippi and pick up the part. I already got it already. Just waiting on me to pick up at my mama house. So I'm gonna take me a trip next weekend. I'm gonna go get that. Uh, and I got this glass already. So now I gotta get um, driving past on this side and I get the other side over there. The windshield is pretty good. But it still got some, some small, but it ain't bad. Just like my windshield with all the scratches. I think I'm gonna keep the windshield, but the rest of them coming out. And I'm gonna keep these too. These good. These ain't scratched up. The rest of them good. Try to get that done. Uh, trying to see what else, man. Ben. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna replace this roof. So. This one got some scratches too. You have to see the rubber's kind of got spots on. These spots don't come out. It's kind of faded, chewed up right here. So, looking for me. I know how to do it. 
gonna just pop this roof out because it got scratches on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and get me a new one. Same one. It's just six screws on both sides and it just pop out. And I can pop me a new one in there. But I don't like these scratches and I don't like how the uh, the rub is beat up right there. So I'm gonna get me a better. So anybody want this roof, let me know. Get me for sale. Cause I ain't gonna need it. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have all new glass all the way around. New side mirrors, we got them on. I'm not gonna put these trimming on. I'm not gonna put this trimming on. Uh, I don't need, I like it like that. Uh, yeah, get this cleaned up, get the all these fish. Um, AC, working. We got all the components. I'm gonna knock this out. We got speakers in there. We got a carpet. Uh, we got an alternator. We got our other compressor, just in case anything just don't go wrong with that. Uh, trying to knock everything else out, man. Uh, I'm trying to knock everything out. So, like I said, we're just gonna hold up a little bit, but I'm gonna turn y'all on when my uh side mirrors come in, and we're gonna take a trip to Mississippi get the glass. I wanna bust this motor down. I wanna bust this motor down, fix that leak, get everything cleaned up. And then I'm gonna have to bust this inside down. Uh, yep, and getting these seats up out of here, we're gonna head and get these seats done too. But in the meantime, uh, right now we're just chilling. And we're waiting on a, a, a very important phone call or we're waiting on the answer. And I spit I turn y'all on too when I get the answer there. That's something I think the channel like too. But yeah, we worked, man. And then a pilot still running A1, no issues. Like I said, man, make sure y'all do the B3. You're gonna tell the difference. It's it's gonna give you that power you need. Yeah, everything, man, it's getting getting closer and closer, man. Getting close to the finish line. For real. Getting close to the finish line. So I'm gonna get myself to next year to get this done. Uh, it'll get myself to next year. Don't hold me to it, but next year, y'all, the Lord's will and everything will work out. Blue cheese to be painted, wheels be on. We ain't taking them off. And she gonna be back. She gonna be. A1, y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's time. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride down the shop right now. So I'm gonna so I can put this motor down to do that. They open right now. I can take y'all with me. See, so I'm gonna do my charge and put this motor down. Yeah, since I'm going that way, I'm gonna let y'all hear the system too. Man. I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Y'all look. Y'all look at you. Crank up too, she don't crank up strong. Real strong. Y'all could y'all not get down. Alright y'all. Right here by uh, Candy Customs. I don't know what's going on over here, but I ain't been seeing a, I ain't been seeing no calls over here in a minute. So I don't know what's going on. Candy Customs, man. Candy Customs. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how this system sound, man. Alright y'all, this on 14 right here. Right here. 14.
So yeah, this this how it sound, man. Uh, this song really didn't hit, make that you know rally just go crazy on the speakers. It's just a little sample so y'all can hear how it sound, just a little beat and the high and everything. Sound pretty good. So I'm up here at Mako and just getting the estimate, see if they can do the body work for me. And then uh, I get this spray away to spray it, just speed up the process a little bit faster. Dude right here giving me an estimate right now. Uh, I got the estimate. Uh, we're going to bust my motor down. He's going to charge me 150 for that, 150 just to, uh, you know, stop that leak from me. So I'm cool with that. I'll let him do that. He got the tools and stuff. I got to rent tools and all that to get that pulled off and everything. So uh, I just let them do that for that 150. So, uh, yeah, man, just, just get this shit done, man. I told y'all, I've been close. But yeah, I ain't want to go too crazy on the speaker, man, so, but y'all can hear, um, if I did put a, like, a song with a lot of bass in, you can, you can really hear it, like, it, it, it hits home, but, uh, I just want to give y'all a little sneak peek of this, but yeah, man, just trying to get blue cheese right, man, if I can get them to do the body work, they probably help spray away a whole lot, I don't think he got to do, just put his hands on it, you know what I'm saying, that's so, what we at, man. All right, y'all, when I made it to the crib, got the paperwork, and uh, look like it's going to be 1326 to do the body work. Y'all can, mm, can see it. 13, man. 13 to do the body work, so that's cool. And then all I got to do is worry about paint, man, so... It worked out. And like I said, man, they're gonna do my, uh, they're gonna bust down my engine and fix all my leaks. It's 150. I don't know if that's right, but uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure when I go down there. But he said 150, man, so look like I ain't too much out of nothing with that. Um what else? Uh shit, man. That's it, man. That's all I got. So yeah, so. We're going to, uh, we might knock down this body work too, man. So that way, if I go ahead and do the body work, that way all the dust and all that extra shit can be gone. Uh, and then I can go ahead and power work on my inside. Get that situated. Um, or I might just leave it until you get get done spraying it and then food with it. I might just do it like this. That way you have some. Uh, I ain't got too much worry about my interior getting messed up. I probably just get it painted and then go ahead and put my interior together. Um, well, I'll figure it out, but man, it's where we at, man. So <laughs> she's about to get ready to get painted, man. Like I said, work on this 1300. Try to come up with this. Uh, get this body situated so it might be primed down. Next time I cut this camera, I don't know who knows, we'll see. But we'll see, man, this one minute. So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, Till next time, y'all already know what it is, man. Coming in hot that way.